Hello my creative peeps and welcome back for another video. Today we are doing another take five journal challenge. Um, we changed it up a little bit this month. If you don't know what I'm talking about, all of the necessary information will be in the description box below. But the ladies that I collaborate with, uh, we all agreed that we would do something a little different this month. So instead of um, five prompts being picked and we all do the same, use the same thing, we chose a theme. So this month it's oldest supplies and or least used supplies. Um, so all of us ladies are using something completely different, um, but they are all things that we either bought at the beginning of our journey or we don't use a lot. So I chose to do a little bit of both. So I'm just going to explain to you guys what I have here. So first, instead of working my journal this month, I'm going to use this canvas. Now, this is just a cheap artist loft canvas uh, from Michaels, and it does have a hole in it. Um, this has moved with me about three times now. <laughs> so I decided that it was finally time to use it and create it in something cool on it and I don't really ever use canvas so we're going to work with that and then one of the things that I don't use a lot is coarse texture gel and modeling paste so like a mixed media type thing of course I do a lot of mixed media but I don't use my paste as often as my other supplies so I'm going to use those um, if you have followed me for any length of time um you know how often i use glitter basically never um but i really do like the distress glitter if i am going to use it so i do own some so i'm gonna try and use some glitter so that's three things um this is more texture paste the fourth thing um were sequins i have sequins but i don't use them obviously um so I have some little um, mermaidy ones in there. I have these star ones, and then I also have these little beads, which I bought um, for a project years ago. And I have no idea what that project was, but I obviously never used them, um, or they didn't work for what I was doing. So we're going to use those. And then last but not least, um, kind of one of my forgotten but very much loved supply are my Distress inks. I mean my Delusions inks, sorry. So I have picked out some colors, picked out some warms and some cools. Um, so we'll see what we can do with that. And I also found this cool sponge that I've never used that I had. So maybe we'll do something with that um, and the sprays. I don't know. But now that I have babbled on forever, let's get into the video, shall we? Okay, I'm going to do my best not to cough during this voiceover, but I am making zero promises. <laughs> so, um, what I'm doing here is just prepping my canvas with some gesso. I don't know if it's pre-primed or not because I threw the packaging away a long time ago. Um, so I'm just priming it just in case. And then I took some of the coarse texture gel, um, texture paste, sorry, not gel, and put it on the canvas, but it was too gritty, so I mixed it with a little bit of the gesso, and that helped it stick just fine. And when I put it on, it looks like sand to me, so I'm going for a very abstract mixed media beach type thing um so you'll see that happening uh, i plan on it being portrait and not landscape but it fit best on my desk landscape to work on it um so what i just did there was put some of the beads into the gesso my idea was that they would kind of hopefully look like water bubbles since I'm doing the sea thing, like I said, um, and I think it worked. It looked cool. So that was me just checking um, my ratio. So I did the sand at the bottom, the sea in the middle, and then I took some modeling paste and I made some very rough clouds. The modeling paste is pretty thick, so I just um, tried to 
make some little peaks and wispy things in it. I know it's hard to see because it's white paste on a white canvas, but you'll see what I mean when I start adding color. And then I put some of those star sequins on there to mix in with the beads so that it looked um, like they went with the bubbles. And I also added some glitter, which I don't think you saw. But anyway, then I took my dilution sprays and I just wanted to work out which colors I wanted to use before I put them down. I want to do like a blending of the yellow and the pink, so I wanted to see which one made a nice orange. And then of course I swatched out all of my blues and greens down there at the bottom so that this way I could see which ones I wanted to use. And I also wanted to blend the pink and the blue together where the sky and the sea meet. So I just tested that out to make sure it was going to work the way I wanted. <laughs> Sorry guys. Then I added a bunch of water to the canvas with my brush and my yellow spritzer was not working, but my pink one worked just fine as you can see, but I like how it kind of blended into the yellow. It made a nice um, cloud effect, I think. Then I just put a bunch of blues together. I used polished jade, calypso teal, bubblegum pink, lemon zest um i think i used another blue too but i can't think of the name of it at the moment so sorry for that so yeah i'm just playing around with the colors and the water i did get that little blue up there with the yellow that wasn't planned and then I wanted to blend the sea into the sand a little bit but I went a little overboard <clears throat> and my plan wasn't to paint the sand but it ended up that I needed to because I spilled the blue on it here I'm just putting another strip of the pink and the blue next to each other to blend that purple in a little more And don't worry, there will be close-ups at the end so you can see all of the amazing texture. Um, one thing that I forgot to do while I was putting the paint on the bottom was hit play, uh, record again after I'd gotten the paint. So I just used some Jane Davenport um, face skin tone paints to paint the sand there. And I had added some more glitter on the top. Then I took my gesso and I went back in and I just tapped some on my finger and tapped over the raised bits. And now you can really see the clouds coming out. It really brings out that texture and gives it some highlights. It doesn't end up looking as white as it does right now because the dilutions is so reactive with water that it just soaks into the gesso and the gesso kind of becomes the color of the dilution spray um so it's more of like a pastel effect than a white and i'm kind of upset because i really did like the white but it's just the nature of the dilutions inks and there's nothing you can do at all to make them permanent so i just have to roll with it then i took a little look little extra lemon zest and it brightened up that yellow these colors look super bright on camera but they're actually a little more pastel in person and here are the close-ups for you guys um that was my take five i had so much fun with this like so much fun i'm really glad that i pushed myself um please do not forget to try this out Show us uh, what you made and the products that you used. Use the hashtag Take5Art. And I'm super bad at checking the hashtag. I will be the first to admit. My hand is raised. You just can't see. <laughs> so if you would like me to personally see um, your artwork, which I would love to, just tag me on Instagram. And that way I'm more likely to see it. Because I'm bad at checking the hashtag, like I said. Please don't forget to check out the other ladies below. They always make very different projects and they're super talented. So don't forget to do that. We did have a few other ladies who were sick that were not able to get their videos up. 
but I believe most of us were able to do so and the other ladies will put theirs up during the month so make sure that you're subscribed to them so you don't miss the continued inspiration please subscribe to me if you have not already so you don't miss any of my future videos and i will catch you guys in the next one take care guys bye bye